Volunteers help to pack bags for students at 27 schools in Milton. 318 of these packages will go out just this week. Each bag will have a mix of milk, grains, cereals, lunch items, snacks and fruit. We have 15 items that typically go in each bag, um, but we also cater to different dietary restrictions and cultural um, diets as well. So we offer a halal version, a kosher version, as well as specialty um, items such as gluten-free, nut-free, vegetarian options as well. Rising inflation and food insecurity means programs like this are seeing an increased need for help. Identifying those who could benefit while being discreet about it are extra challenges in the process. For that, Food for Kids relies on its partners. We work very closely with school staff and specifically the, the vice principals and principals of each of our elementary schools. They are typically very close with the families themselves and are able to help identify families that might be in need. So it might be looking at what they're consistently bringing to school for lunches. It might be that they're coming to us letting that us know that they're hungry and we're able to provide snacks during the day and then we reach out to families. And as our program grows, word of mouth also grows, so families will also reach back to us. Bruce Trail Public School has a student body of about 1,100. Out of that, 19 families and 34 students are being helped by the food program every Friday on their way home for the weekend. The food comes in on a Friday. We have labels with um, either family names or identifying family names. Uh, um, someone organizes it uh, um, and then at the end of the day before they go home, kids will swing by who need it and then we have the ones that we deliver after school on a Friday. Halliday says that a family is typically on the program for 60 to 70 weeks, which means these volunteers from Community Living will get plenty of chances to help out, something they've been doing for a few years now and appreciate. And there's smiles on their face, they love coming, they love Stacy, she's warm, she's welcoming. They know they're doing good for their community and, and giving back, so they're generally always excited to, to be here. If you would like more information about the Food for Kids program, visit their website at foodforkidshalton.ca. Jason Trout, Halton News in Milton.